In other news tonight, a man is dead after a deputy involved shooting in Madera County. Investigators say it started when a detective spotted a man at a country market. It ended with gunfire in the area of Road 20 and Avenue 6. CBS 47's A.J. Cotto has more. According to the sheriff's office, the suspect had a criminal history with several felony warrants out for his arrest. A high-speed chase ends in a deputy-involved shooting after beginning at this Madera County market. Deputies received information that there was a wanted felon in the area of the Lavina market. 29-year-old Artemio Alfaro of Madera wanted on several warrants, including robbery, felony domestic violence, and vandalism. According to Sheriff Jay Varney, when Alfaro saw deputies arrive, he got in his car and took off, leading them on a roughly seven-mile chase, speeds reaching 110 miles per hour, before pulling off in the area of Avenue 6 and Road 20 and and trying to run. That's when officers released a canine. He was able to get back into his vehicle while the canine was engaged with him. Uh, he then uh, put the vehicle in gear, started to back up, uh, knocked into one of the officers, and at that point uh, there was an additional altercation and uh, shots were fired. Sheriff's Office officials confirm a deputy fired the fatal shot, but are not saying where Alfaro was hit. Deputies on scene provided CPR um, until they were relieved by EMS and unfortunately the suspect was uh, deceased. It's still under investigation how many bullets were fired and if the suspect was also armed. Varney says no one else, including the deputy who was struck by the vehicle, was injured. The Madera County Sheriff's Office understands the concern of the community, you know, wanting details on something like this. Um, and we also empathize with the family involved. Um, but in order to get verified information now we do have to wait for the investigation because a deputy was involved the shooting portion of this investigation has been handed off to an outside agency in this case the madera police department in madera aj cotto cbs 47 eyewitness news